Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. I'm back with another review for you. Probably a very simple one, but indeed an interesting one. Today we're looking at the Mach Extreme technology MX Sec 128GB USB 3.0 flash drive. But don't click this video away yet. It's not a simple USB flash drive. First of all, it's USB 3.0, alright, maybe not that special. And secondly, this drive comes with AES data encryption and allows you to create private as well as public partitions. Such a drive of course isn't very cheap, but with 60 to 70 US dollars, not too bad either compared to comparable drives from the competition. Thanks a lot to Mach Extreme Technology for sending me this MXSEC drive to review. Now in the back of the packaging is a product activation key. Make sure you keep that one and don't throw it away. It's very important and I'll show you what you need it for a little bit later. All there is in the packaging is the USB drive itself, that's all. Mark Extreme has sent me the 128GB version of their MXSEC drive, but there also are 8, 16, 32, 64 and 256 gigabyte versions available. As you'd expect, the latest USB 3.0 interface is used. The most important feature here is the support of the AES 256-bit data encryption so you know your data is secured. It seems to be a reliable drive, since Mark Extreme backs its MXSEC drive up with a 2-year warranty. Alright, now let's take a quick look at the USB drive now before I show you all the features and how they work. As you can see, it's a quite small drive, which in my opinion is good, because bulky drives tend to take up a lot of space and often you can't plug in anything else beside them. The case is out of metal, which indeed is a nice touch in design, and what I noticed is the drive capacity is concealed here. This is a 128GB drive, but nowhere a sign of the capacity and that's good for a drive of this kind. As I've said before, you can create private and public partitions. Of the 128GB, you could, for instance, assign 16GB to the public partition and the rest to the private, hidden, encrypted partition that no one sees. Therefore, it seems like a general 16GB USB drive to most people. Once plugged in, you get to see a red LED when the drive's active. Now, when you plug this MXSEC drive in for the first time, you'll get to see the whole 128 gigabytes, well, in an operating system that are 119 gigabytes, but you should know that by now. On the drive is a setup file. It's the secure drive EX2 setup. Just follow the steps to set the encryption up. Now that the first part's done, there are only about 100 megabytes available for the public partition right now. Just run the secure drive EX2 utility that's now in the drive and follow the steps. You'll get to the point where you'll be asked for that activation key you got on the packaging. Enter it to proceed. Then you'll get the option to reconfigure the storage capacities for the public and private partitions. It's called secure partition here I see. I'll set it to about 50-50 here for this demo. Now you can choose the encryption type for this secured partition. I'm going to use AES 256 here of course. Then enter a password and a hint if you need one. Then follow the steps to proceed. As you can see, I now have a public partition and a secure one that I can only access by entering the correct password. Beware, and that's a good security feature here by the way, the secure drive EX2 utility will lock down after 5 repeated attempts to enter the 20 digit serial key within one day, or 10 repeated attempts to enter that serial key within one week. That's a bit harsh but it indeed keeps your data safe and that's the point here. But now let's take a look at how fast this drive actually is. Alright, and out of disk benchmark, we got some pretty good results here, not top notch, but indeed very good. To demonstrate the real life performance, I'm going to do a practical test. I'll drag over a single 3.58GB file and see how long it takes. As you can see, the transfer rate is at about 80 megabytes per second and it takes about 46 seconds to finish that transfer. That's a good result, but once I drag over more than a single file at once, specifically lots of small ones, 295 files here that result in 2.13 gigabytes, the transfer indeed shows some hiccups, which are normal though when testing like that. It took the drive about 1 minute and 28 seconds to finish that transfer. 
So to sum things up, the Mark Extreme Technology MX Sec 128GB drive indeed is a good drive and a good investment for people that need security and speed combined at a lower price point. I myself am pleased with the offered performance and the security features. Of course it's a bit hard to review on USB flash drive and it's a bit hard to find negative points here, so right now I haven't found any. Something I could mention would be the temperature of the drive when in use. When touching it after a couple of minutes after heavier transfers, it gets a little hot but it cools off very quickly as it also has small vents on the back where the red LED light is. So don't worry about that. For the price of $60 to $70, a good drive I'd say. Therefore, I can definitely recommend the Mark Extreme Technology MXSEC 128GB USB 3.0 flash drive. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.